oh, they're emotionally attached to a guy. Oh, they're lacking some emotion at home. No, women want to get their rocks off too. I'm too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap. Too sexy for that cap. Too sexy for that chap. Yeah. Good morning. Happy hump day. I am actually eating an early breakfast. Mmm. Lord. Grape juice. The grape juice almost choked my ass. Um. Anyway. I'm eating grapes. And avocado toast. Because this avocado was about to go bad. <clears throat> I bought it for tacos, but... We ain't make tacos in the past few days. Shoo. Anyways, yeah. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am watching Eight at the Table. Today's discussion is unrealistic expectations that keep women single. I'm only about seven minutes in, so I can't discuss the topic with you guys that much just because I really haven't heard their point of views. Only the chick has talked. It's a guy and a girl on today's panel. So only the woman has talked so far. The guy hasn't said anything. Mm. My alarm people are here. Putting in a new alarm system. Taking out the old one. Putting in a new upgraded alarm system. Mm. Let me show you guys this wig. Y'all would have seen this wig on my last, my last vlog. Ooh, I dyed this wig black. Can y'all see the difference? Okay, so what's in my head is considered like a normal, natural color. And then I dyed this black. Okay, alrighty. Okay, cool. Lord, it's a lot going on. Mm. Anyway, I was just showing y'all how black this wig is. I need to start dyeing all my wigs black. Not all of them, but like my straight ones. Oh. Ooh. And it smells so freaking good. <laughs> Y'all, I had a comment that made me laugh today. And the girl literally wrote a whole novel underneath my damn video. Basically mad at me. And she ain't the first person. This has happened before. Mad at me because I'm a cheapskate. Mad at me because I want to spend fifty dollars on a dress. Mad and upset because I I'd rather spend my money on a bag instead of articles of clothing that I'm gonna wear one and two times. Make it make sense, sis. Make it make sense. But you can think what you want if it helps you sleep better at night. Like I just I don't understand. She said I was trying too hard. Trying trying too hard most people who try too hard they live beyond their means they're buying the designer they're gucci down they're fendi down they're they're they're, they're trying too hard excuse it that's my uh dryer and washer that's going in the background but me shopping at dds and i've been shopping at dds since before i even picked up a youtube camera and i'm still shopping at dds all these years later what, what sis why is you mad and the crazy part is, she literally put in there, I understand people want to spend their money the way they want to spend their money. Okay, people want to spend their money the way they want to. You literally said that in your comment, but then you proceed to write a whole dissertation about how I should be able to spend all this money on designer clothing. I don't do this. I'm, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I like to see my coins in my bank account. I'm just saying. I like to use my extra coins to make life easier for myself. Like I'll pay somebody from TaskRabbit in a moment to come over here and build something. Like they came and, you know, y'all were here when they built my little thing underneath my TV. They built my patio furniture. I definitely could have done that myself. Because reviews said, oh, it was easy. It only took me two hours. Oh, it was easy. It only just took me and my wife and we built it. 
I'll pay for convenience. I'll pay, I, I pay to have a cleaning service come to my house. I'll pay, I'll use my money for that. But to buy designer clothes, it don't make sense. Anyways, y'all, they gave me a laugh for the day. A laugh. Oh, girl. Mm. And somebody else under that same video said, how dare you tip the guy who put groceries in your trunk, how dare you tip him $2? How dare you? You said you had 20s in your purse. Why didn't you just give him a 20? Come on now, Gina, with a bunch of A's. I literally had $18 worth of groceries, which was three grocery bags, and I gave this man a $2 tip. And you telling me I should have gave him a 20? First of all, if you watch the clip, the man, he put him in my trunk so quick and ran off, He's so probably used to people not giving him tips for putting groceries in their trunk. He's probably used to people not tipping him. So he ran off quick and I'm like, I want to give you a tip. And you telling me that my $2 wasn't good enough? Child, people are crazy out here. Why y'all want me to spend all my money up? Why y'all want me to, why? Make it make sense. Other you go watch the other YouTubers who are Gucci down and designer head to toe. They go to the gym in the, in in Fendi leggings and Chanel sneakers. That ain't me, baby. No, you at the wrong. You in the wrong channel. Child, I wish I would spend a hundred dollars on a dress. Fuck out of here. Let me be cheap. Call me motherfucking Al Bundy around this motherfucker. What's the daddy? What's the daddy name from Everybody Hates Chris? That dude was cutting pieces of toilet paper in half. So y'all, I'm I'm editing a video right now, but I'm also watching my good sis, Miss Lovely TV, Miss Carla. Um, and she just said a word. She said, faith and fear cannot live in the same space. I've never heard that before. Or if I have heard that before, I don't remember ever hearing it. But I love that. Faith and fear cannot live in the same space. And that's what I need to continuously tell myself. Like, because there's a lot of times where, like with work, just with like work, I'm like, why does this company want to work with me? I'm scared. How can I live up to the standard? Because I tell you guys all the time, I'm unpolished. I'm country. I, I don't be on camera trying to be cute all the time. And I don't I don't try to live up to this, the influencer look. You know what I mean? And I, I, and I doubt myself sometimes. So faith and fear cannot live in the same space. But I feel like I'm, I have gotten better. When, during 2021, I've gotten better with that because I've literally accomplished everything I wanted to in 2021. But anyway, I was just stopping by just while I'm getting some work done. But she said that, guys, remember, remember this. Take this away from this little segment. Faith and fear cannot live in the same space. And also follow uh, Miss Lovely TV. She is a blogger. She has two channels. She has a lifestyle channel, and she also has now a, like, a motivational channel. So I'm going to have to subscribe and check her out. Check that new channel out. So let me get back to work. Video is done. It is uploading. I am so, so, so sleepy, y'all. So, so, so sleepy. I'm talking about I'm sleepy, but I'm opening blinds to let more light in my room. I only had about three and a half, four hours of sleep <sighs> because I recorded, edited, and uploaded sponsored content last night, kind of late. I think I started recording the sponsored content around 10. And um, I edited it, yeah, edited it, uploaded it, sent it over to the company and started communicating with them. That just took a long time. I only, like I said, I didn't have much sleep, so I want to take a nap. The alarm people are here. Person is here installing the alarm system. And she said that it would take five to six hours. And yes, it's a woman. Let us see it. Women in the field doing jobs that are typically meant for a man. Yes. But um, she's already been here for two hours. And I said by 3 p.m. 
are you going to be done by three? And she was like, hopefully, possibly, I don't know. But luckily today, Jennifer's off. So if I needed her to pick up the kids, I'm sure she will. Do y'all think it's safe for me to take a nap with somebody in my house? I don't know. I'm going to take a nap. I just want to close my eyes for like 45 minutes. Okay, maybe I'm going to close my eyes for 20 minutes. 20 minutes should be fine. 20 minutes of a nap. I ain't never hurt nobody. I need some rest. So we're at TJ Maxx. <laughs> I came in looking for a bracelet that they don't have. I'm, I'm mad about that. And then also some hair products. They really don't have what I'm looking for. But y'all, look what I found. This is so funny. If you know, you know. Like, this is hilarious. He has a perfume. I want to smell it. Y'all, while I'm laughing, this shit is pretty and it smells so good. Lionel. Lionel. Ooh, they got some new flavors. That sounds so good. And so does this. Ooh, they sound so good. Have y'all ever tried this brand? I've never tried this brand. Oh, it's heavy. Shit. They sell the Goli vitamins here. I know a lot of girls uh, have started taking these recently, so. I don't know if that's considered a good price or not, but they're here at TJ Maxx. So a subscriber said that I need to try these with my tuna. They're life-changing. Hmm. Definitely not healthy. <laughs> but she says they're really good. How much are they? How much? $4 for me to just try? I don't know, y'all. Handsome Squidward. That is ugly. I'm sorry. That looks stupid. <laughs> all right, here go all the sale skinny girls. You guys come to TJ Maxx and you never tried them. Buy them on sale first. Vanilla. Vanilla almond. I already have this one. One dollar. This one seems kind of good. But it's pumpkin cinnamon roll, so I don't know. If it was just plain cinnamon roll, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. This flavor might be good. White chocolate pumpkin. And I've never seen this size. Look how big this one is. And it's only $3. And they're huge. We're now at Whole Foods. And they have, have mine. My... You're gonna get this one. You know the one that I like is the pumpkin Alfredo. This one is my favorite one. This one is one of my favorites also. The bison quinoa bowl kind of gives you, reminds you of chili almost. This one's nasty. Y'all don't get this one. This one is a freaking amazing. So good. We're at Whole Foods. I got me a little bit of everything. Say hey to the camera. Got a little bit of everything. Hey. Carrots, vegan meatball, chicken tenders, and I got carnitas. Her on some good things. Mm-hmm. Ashley gonna, Ash gonna eat some with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay, yeah. <laughs> chicken's okay. Yeah, the chicken's just okay. Y'all, me and Ashton are grubbing. Um, we got a paleo, which y'all know paleo is like no carb, all meat and vegetables. A paleo meat mix, which is pretty good really good we got ginger honey carrots which are amazing i don't like honey we got pork carnitas oh, yeah, pork, lentils and onion the pork was probably my favorite a vegan meatball which was disgusting mm -hmm. you try some it's almost all gone okay whatever What's good? We ate all the good stuff, really. Yeah, sorry. You can eat some of this meat. The rice is good, too. It's kind of good. I like it. The rice is decent. Yeah, it tastes like normal rice. It's, it's, it's rice, lentils, and... Well, that that's good. called paleo beef. Is that good? It's a little spicy. Oh, I like that. I'll try that. Because I didn't try that. Mmm! 
You like that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's spicy. It burned your throat a little. The kids are eating mochis. This is mango. And I think I'm the only one who does not like mochis. Mochis to me are like disgusting. Mango? The mango's nine out of ten. What about you? Mm. And yes, I'm drinking my zero sugar coke. If anybody's wondering, I know it's not good for you. Woo! But I needed something, you know? And I was at TJ Maxx earlier, and that's all they had in their refrigerator part was regular Coke, Diet Coke, or Zero Sugar Coke. So I'm like, no vanilla. let me go with the lesser of all the evils. Now we have, well now we're going to try vanilla. Vanilla is basic. It tastes normal. Okay, I'm back home. The kids are gone with their dad again. He, uh, I think I told you earlier, he's taking them to a basketball game. So they literally just walked out the door. But let me show y'all what I got. Y'all know Whole Foods Cranberry Apple Tuna is my favorite. It's very expensive, but this shit is good as hell. And then y'all seen all these before. These are those Snap Kitchen meals. I literally get the same ones every time. So hmm, that's really nothing to show. Unless you're new here, this is how they look. They're just meal preps and portion controlled, small, flavorful meals. Then I did buy two more Skinny Girl mixers. They were a dollar, so I'm like, what the hey? This one is white chocolate mocha. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. And this one's, oh, is this zero everything? Okay. Yeah, zero sugar, zero calorie. Are all mixers zero sugar? No, cause mm -mm, Starbucks ain't. Okay, so anyway, this is mocha and then this one is pumpkin cinnamon roll. Then I bought a couple of products from TJ Maxx, which I really did not need, but I got Urban Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. You guys know this is a black owned brand if you didn't know. Then I got these for Ashton. This one is a leave-in detangler conditioner on clearance for $3. Then this one is the Tegan. Uh, it's just a curl, some curl gel. This one was $3 also. And I don't know if I showed these. These were $3 as well. And that, my friends, is the end of today's haul. That's all I got. That's it. That's all. Y'all, so I am over here eating oranges or tangerines, whatever they call. Watching my girl, uh, J. Kareen. Y'all check out her channel. And I'm like, let me get a second orange. Why I picked up the second orange and I'm like, something don't feel right about it. Look at this. Why is it, where did the orange go? Where is the orange? Where is the orange? This is disgusting. And yes, they are new. I bought these a week ago. Why does, child, I need to go with the H-E-B and start buying some fruit because this one feels like it ain't nothing in here either. Why is the orange separated from the skin? Can y'all tell like, uh-uh, uh-uh, it's like it's a dried out orange. It's like dried out. Oh, Y'all, look at this, look. Most oranges, if I squeezed it like this, it juice would start coming out of it. Why am I squeezing it like a fucking raisin? Target, Target, let's do better. And these things are not cheap. These oranges are like, I feel like a bag of navel oranges is kind of like, what, $4? That ain't cheap. Okay, now this one seemed like it's better. But I honestly, yeah, when I squeeze this one, it's firm. But I kind of am scared to eat it. Child, y'all gonna have me in here opening up all these damn oranges. Let me taste it. Yeah, that one's fine. Mm-hmm. 
That one's nice and juicy. The mother too, I don't know what the hell happened. I put some new nails on. I put some new press on nails on. And I finally unboxed my sneakers. Yes, I got the land bins. I got the land bins that everybody's been getting. All the fashion guys and gals. They are so comfortable. Now, a lot of people are gonna think these are ugly. They're gonna think they're ugly as hell, but you have to have a vision. You have to picture, okay, I'm going to wear this with it, that. That's how I'm going to style it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in a couple of pictures of girls who actually styled their landings. Very, very cute. Okay. So just have an open mind. Have an open mind. This is them. They look like huge skater shoes. Don't they look like a skateboarder would be wearing these? But anyway, these are them. I have a men's size 39, which equals a eight and a half or nine in women's. So, yeah. And they come in like seven different colors. And I got these because I thought these would be the easiest ones to style. So anyways, yeah. I'm going to pop a few pictures over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. So I think I know I'm going to wear with them. Th these are like one time not one time wear shoes but they're not you're not gonna have these for years these are you wear them a couple times and you're done they're very trendy they're very right now and this time next year you're probably not gonna see them again did i waste my money who knows but bitch it's my motherfucking money i like them okay i need to re-record for this company I need to get my life together. I need to get my mind right to re-record because I already recorded it. I spent a lot of time last night recording and they rejected the whole video. So I got to re-record. <sighs> oh, this is the life of a content creator. This is actually maybe the second time this has ever happened. Out of all the times I've collabed with companies, is this the first? It can't be the first. I can't think of the first. I'm just saying it's the second because I know this has had to have happened to me before. So anyway, I got to re-record because I was like, oh shit, y'all did ask for that in the beginning. And I totally forgot. I skipped over that when I was reading over everything last night. Oops. I'm watching. I just subscribed to this girl today. Somebody shouted her out to watch her. Amina Coco. I'm watching Amina Coco. Um, she looks cute. She looks cute. Her um, I'm only what eight minutes into her vlog, but I, I'm I, I I'm kind of liking her already. I'm liking the vibe. I'm liking the look. She don't seem boring. Okay, y'all check out Amina Coco. Mhm. Mm okay, let me get my mind right so I can record. Y'all, I put some catfish in the air fryer. And this is my first time doing this. So I'm a little nervous as to how it's going to look. Oh. Oh. Okay. So they're called catfish nuggets. And I season them up. This is how they look. These are the ones that I haven't cooked yet. Season them up and I put them in here on 350 for 18 minutes. <sighs> I be trying to think of like foods that I can eat that are just low carb. So I was like, maybe I can make this with some cauliflower rice. I don't know. I'm scared, y'all. I don't know why I'm scared. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. That's actually really good. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Ooh. I just want to pop those all in my mouth by themselves. Mmm, those are really good. So I use all low six sodium seasoning. Well, the only low sodium one that I didn't use is Old Bay because does Old Bay even sell low sodium? But anyway, this one is Spicy Girl from Misha's Corner. She is a YouTuber here on YouTube. She's a chef here on YouTube. She's a real chef and she has her own 
line of low sodium seasonings. And then I also just used onion powder. I used garlic powder and then I used salt free garlic and herb. So we are all about the low sodium around here. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is extremely good. Do I even want any cauliflower rice? I don't think I do. I wish I had some spinach for a salad. Oh, that would taste so good on grits. Oh my God, but we are not. We're not doing that. Grits are extreme, extreme carb, carb city. <sighs> Do I want cauliflower rice? Let me figure this thing out. Another day, another dollar. Y'all make up your bed this morning? Hmm? Did y'all make up y'all's bed this morning? When they say that's the first key to success, to have a successful, productive day, I agree. Even if I take a midday nap, I'm still gonna make my bed up. So, I'm making my bed up, about to take the kids to school. I'm going to the gym because the grind don't stop. I ain't even making my bed up all perfect. Oh, I'll make it perfect when I get back, but it's made. It's made. I got a lash appointment later. I got phone calls to make. I got a lot to do today. Happy Thursday. Even though it's the end of the week, we still got to go get things done. Let me show you guys my outfit for the gym. Anything I'll show you for the gym is old, like years and years old. When I find comfortable stuff, I just rock with it. This is a blue dry fit shirt that I got from Old Navy. This was about, when I found it on clearance, this was about $6. These leggings were like $4. They're from Fashion Nova. Oh, girl, I said Fashion Nova. These are from Forever 21 and they were about $4. And then I'm wearing my black and white Air Max, my headband wig. And yeah, we ready for that day. Oh, and then this is the perfume that I'm using. This is the Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, but this is Dossier's version. It smells so good. If you want the real deal Holyfield, this is it right here, but I try not to use my quote unquote expensive perfumes when I'm just running errands and going to the gym. I use all my, um, my Dossier versions, even though they, they just as good as the real thing, y'all. Okay, got my phone. Do I... AirPods are my AirPods over here. They in my, I know they in my purse because I didn't use them last night. Okay. Fast the cardio today and every day to make the most of your workout. All right, y'all ready? This is good for you. Whatever you want to do, let's go. As long as you have a sandwich, chips. Y'all should have done that. Should have really done it last night. my cardio for the day i ain't do i literally did not do too much i'm so sore i'm sore so i did 45 minutes of cardio which is a good workout i was sweating like crazy um i need to buy a new apple watch because my dumb ass my dumb ass gave my apple watch away during the pandemic stupid i know I need to buy a new one so that's like on my list to do i'm not rushing to do it and there's actually some on amazon that i've been seeing promoted on youtube like commercials and stuff on youtube um it's a fitness watch i can't remember what it's called thought i dropped something uh i don't remember what it's called but when i looked it up on amazon it was only like 75 dollars. so i'm trying to debate do i want to pay 75 dollars for a fitness watch or do I want to pay $300 for an Apple Watch that does a lot more? But I know I'm not going to use all of its features because my old Apple Watch 
I literally only wore it to the gym and once I got home that thing was coming off I know some people like my sister she keeps her Apple watch on all day at the gym at work if she goes out at night when she dress up in her cute outfits she still have her Apple watch on so I just never been that person I have some time before my lash appointment so I'm about to go to Burlington and do a return I need to call and see if my car is like when my car gonna be ready it's Thursday last time I talked to them was last Friday and they said oh it should be ready next week uh it's next week it's the end of next week where is my phone call where is my fucking update how can I help you today? Hi, is uh, John there? He's the one who was um, handling my car. Uh, John is actually not in the office right now. He should be back in a while. I would say he was Okay, we're going to Specs. I just seen the Specs off the side of the freeway. And I said, that's been on my list for a week to go to Specs. Y'all, I really want to try the new pomegranate Ciroc. That is my whole purpose in turning over here and coming to Specs. Ali Raba Food Mart. Ali Raba Food Mart. I bet they got some good fresh meat up in there. Cause the meat that they be giving us at goddamn Walmart, Foodorama, Target. I'm suspect. This look like a lonely, sad little Specs. Hmm. Oh shit. God dog. Oh, can I ask you a question? Do y'all have the uh Ciroc pomegranate? Yeah, that'll be behind the register. Oh, it's behind the register. Okay, thank you. This is what my aunt likes. She likes this sweet bitch. That dude that rang me up was weird as hell. Like rude, weird would not look me in my face. It, it it gave me weird vibes. So just to kind of explain to you how he looked, looked like he gets haircuts with no edge ups. His jeans were baggy like stepdad jeans. Just imagine stepdad jeans that he's probably had since 2009. Um, and an American flag mask. Now I ain't judging nobody who wear American flag masks. But when a black man who won't look you in your eye, kind of looks at you in disgust, barely won't say anything to you with American flag mask on, um, I'm, his dating options, I can just only imagine. Anyway, I digress. Uh, Y'all! So first of all, I did get the pomegranate Ciroc. Let me know if y'all have tasted this one. And... I found the second to last Stella Rosa on my list. Have y'all tried this flavor? It's called Black Cherry. I feel like this is one of like the newer flavors. So the only one that I want to try that I haven't tried, because I know there's other ones out there that I don't want to try, uh, like the red. I don't want to try the, the Stella Red for whatever reason. I don't know why I don't want to. I don't want to try that. But the green apple is the only one on my list that I have not tried so look at my list everything with the check mark i've had the ones with the heart are my favorite and then you see green apple there's nothing next to it because i haven't tried green apple and there's some black checks some green checks those don't mean anything just it's just a check mark so woo! i'm excited about this so i'm not gonna drink this until Today's Thursday. Y'all know I'm doing my, you know, low sugar, healthy eating. I'm on it. So I'm probably not going to drink that until maybe Saturday. I might let myself have one glass, depending on how the day goes, depending on how I eat that day. It, it just, it depends. So we'll see. I, I have it though. So I'm, I'm glad about that. And it must be good or they didn't get a big stock of it because all the other Stellas was lined up. That one only had two. Uh, left on the shelf so now there's only one left same with the pomegranate Ciroc that was oh that was actually the last that was the last pomegranate Ciroc and when dude picked it up he kind of picked it up like ew disgusting you're you're a Ciroc drinker yeah motherfucker what you drink Jameson whiskey you look like it 
You look like you drink shots of Fireball, drink Jameson whiskey, and it looks like you tap dance whenever you go hang out with your friends. I got my lashes done. I don't think I picked up the camera in a few hours, so. Anyway, yeah, just got my lashes done. Right now I'm sitting in line. Ooh, at Starbucks, I got a the pistachio, an iced pistachio latte. They said they could not make it sugar-free. I really hate that. The only thing that they can make sugar-free is stuff that require vanilla. So anyway, I had to get it with almond milk, so at least I can make it low-calorie. And the almond milk takes off probably some fat also. Hi, 601. Alrighty. Would you like a straw? Uh, please. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank Have you a good one. Me. You too. So it's a holiday drink, and they're just bringing it out. I'm like, how y'all just brought out this drink? And the holidays are, the holidays are over. And I, I want to say this pistachio drink just came out about maybe a week ago. And I feel like I had it. I feel like I've had this before. That creme brulee one that comes out during the holidays, I hate that one. I cannot stand that one. To me, it tastes burnt. Like it tastes like burnt sugar or something. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I don't like it. The sugar cookie one that just came out, that one was very mediocre. That one, I had it that one time. I don't have to have it again. Now this one, Let's give her a go. Child, let me just stick to what I know, cuz. <laughs> it's not nasty, but I know I could have had my vanilla chai tea latte, light on the ice, almond milk, sugar-free syrup, and I know it was gonna taste good. Or my vanilla iced tea, substitute almond milk or coconut milk, and extra pumps of sugar-free syrup, and I would know it's good. This one, on the other hand, mm, mm, it's just I. You already know, it is 2.30, I have not eaten, I have got to eat something. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go to like Salada and sit down, or if I just wanna eat like a, um, something in the car really quick i need some nourishment i need some food Ooh, i could have went to cheddars <sighs> i was watching platinum d's vlog earlier and she hates arby's i didn't know that well okay let me not say i didn't know most black people hate arby's for whatever the reason i don't know if black folks hate roast beef or if the sandwiches just ain't hitting the way they think a fast food sandwich should hit but me, over here, an Arby's barbecue sandwich. So, if I'm not mistaken, it's not a staple on the menu. It's a, like a, you know how the McRib comes back once a year? I think that's how this sandwich is. It's a barbecue Arby's sandwich with cheddar cheese, onion crisps, and I believe grilled onions. When I tell you guys, when I tell you it's so motherfucking good, Oh, it's so good. Then their curly fries are amazing. And their chicken strips are amazing. Oh, and they had a fish sandwich. Oh, they had a, a fish sandwich with me and my ex was together. Boy, we used to tear that fish sandwich up. So just that regular roast beef, yeah, no. But get, get one of their specialty sandwiches, they're the shit. Trust me. And they have good milkshakes. <sighs> I wish I could eat that right now. They don't go on my diet at this point in time, so I can't. Is there a salad? Let me see if there's like a salad place over here. I don't know if I want salada. Okay, so salada's over here in case if I want it. Let me drive through and see what I see. Do y'all have a rapport in your city? The rapport is a Cajun restaurant. Kind of like a, it's not upscale, but it's not like, it's hard to explain. It's like a higher level Cajun restaurant. Creole food or Creole Cajun. I don't, anyway, it's extremely good. Very, very, very good. And they used to have a breakfast, well, brunch or buffet on the weekends, and I hate that they got rid of it. 
Escalante. See, if I go to Escalante, y'all don't have a red light? I mean, a, a stop sign? Shoot. See, with Escalante, I'm going to want to eat some damn enchiladas or fajitas. So I can't go there. I honestly just need to go to Salada because it's going to be, I'm just going to keep thinking like, oh, I like that restaurant, but can't go there. Oh, like that, can't go there. Just right here, State Fair. State Fair is off the chain. State Fair has really good food, really good appetizers. They have this um, drink sampler i guess that's what it's called but they give you like their most popular um frozen drinks in like many not even they're not shooter cups they're bigger than shooters they're about this this big baby all you need is one order you gonna be walking out of there swerving slipping walking to the left walking to the right like <laughs> On parking. Why does y'all's parking always have to suck? Always. Every single time. So, update on my car. I just got off the phone with the guy who's the one in charge of taking care of my car because it's so weird when I call and the front desk people answer. They can't answer any questions. It's like the person who's assigned to my car who's at actually, the person actually at the body shop, not the, through the insurance company. But anyway, my car, they said they tried to paint it, but now they're realizing I need the bumper repaired. My car has been in since December the 16th. It is now January the 6th, so, I don't know, the shit is crazy to me. So, they're waiting on approval from my insurance company. Are you and they said hopefully the approval can come by, come out pretty quick and then they can get the uh, bumper replaced. <sighs> so annoying. Oh, and then he had the nerve to say, how are you enjoying your rental? Um, I'm not. It's like $60, $70 a day. <laughs> this is my salad. I get the same salad every single time. Um, this is a mixture of kale and Arcadian mix. Then I get red onions, almonds, tomatoes, strawberry, pineapple, sesame sticks, corn, black beans with, with herb vinaigrette. And I'm just not realizing I forgot to put egg on here. <laughs> and I forgot to get banana peppers. God, dog it. Anyway, so that's what I'm eating for lunch today. And I'm watching my girl. Brianna Marie. So yeah, let me grab because I gotta go get the kids and the mama. Y'all, the last of this salad, it'd be so hard to finish. And this is a small bowl. Nobody needs to come in here and order a large bowl. Even, I've, I've been here with my ex used to, me and my ex used to come here, he would order a small bowl and barely finish it. And I've also been on a date here. And that dude was like, oh my God, like that's a lot of, cause he, he wanted to order a large salad at first. I'm like, and it was his first time here. I said, trust me, order a small salad, you're gonna be full. And he was like, dang, thank you for telling me to order a small salad. Cause I can't even, he couldn't even finish it. With the way my fasting is set up, I'm eating all this. And I need to make sure I check it in my, in my fasting app. Oh look, I think I broke my fast at like 2.30, so I need to put that in here. Okay y'all, so I've been watching Eight at the Table. Y'all know, I love that show and they always have different topics that they talk about. If I put you guys on Eight at the Table or if you wanna watch any of the episodes that I bring up in some of my um, vlogs, make sure if you guys comment and comment underneath their posts, make sure you guys put in there Gina sent me because I kid you not, when I go to New York, I'm going to see if I can be like a guest on their show. I don't know how the interview process works to actually get guests on the show or I don't know. But anyway, if y'all don't mind, just put, oh, Gina sent me, Gina Janine sent me, whatever you want to say whenever you um, write your response underneath their videos. But anyway, so this episode that I am watching is Can You Survive a Sexless Marriage? So, and it's not a round table like they usually have. It's only two people on, the sh on, on this episode. It's one man, one woman. 
So basically, they're like, if you're married to somebody and they're turning you down for sex, S-E-G-G, because we can't say the other thing. Well, yes, we can. I just don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be flagged. But anyway, and you're turning your your husband or wife, because it's not about, I don't really think they're talking about boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, what would you do as a man or as a woman? So Erin the Renegade, she's one of the people on the show. Her name is Erin the Renegade. Um, she's saying, let's cut out this, what a man would do, what a woman would do. We're all humans. Like, let's not say men and women, which I totally agree with because women are always looked at as these non-sexual beings. We are looked at as emotional beings, which is not true. We need sex just as much as a man needs sex. Our hormones are extremely high and sometimes they be raging certain times of the month sometimes they're kind of low depending on the time of the month but anyways and i'm sure it's same thing with the man and their testosterone but i would really wish that we would just stop being looked at as being non-sexual um if a man can't get it up oh it's it's something we need to ride ride or die we don't need to go out anywhere and look for sexual pleasure we need to ride it out with them just use a toy and if you're in a sexless marriage for three four five years you're supposed to deal with it but on the other hand he's kind of like well men yeah men need more sex men need more sex a man is gonna go out and cheat if i withhold sex for two weeks he's gonna go out and cheat you ain't even gotta be withholding sex if and i don't want to say men because not all men cheat not all men cheat not all women cheat and i don't i want to make sure that i make that very very clear and depending on the race i don't think that that matters race does not matter when it comes to cheating because i hate when people be saying black men cheat so i'm gonna go date outside my race that is neither here nor there matter man woman black white asian whatever a person is going to cheat if they feel compelled to cheat anyway that's another subject um i just really hate that it's kind of like aaron is answering all the questions and i'm 12 minutes into a 19 minute video so it's it's more than halfway done and he's just doesn't understand her her thinking he does not understand that she cannot be in a sexless marriage for years she was like yeah i can give it some months but why should I have to go years? I'm not going to... She was like, I need... I can't just use a toy for three years. She's like, I need that heat from a man's body. I need that touch from a man. I need that release at the end of the day. I can't just... A toy doesn't do that for me. So he's kind of just so, like, disgusted that she's saying these things. Like, oh, my God. He's basically making the face like, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Men... We are sexual beings just like you guys are. Women do not cheat because, oh, they're emotionally attached to a guy. Oh, they're lacking some emotion at home. No, women want to get their rocks off too. Period. Point blank, period. And there are women who cheat for emotional reasons. There are women who cheat just because they want the feel of somebody different. There are women who cheat because maybe their man can't get it up. And my mom god rest her soul she is not with us anymore but she was in a sexless marriage for over 20 something years the man that she was married to did not disclose to her that he was impotent before they got married and my mom was a very religious person uh she did not have sex before she got married so she found out on her wedding night that she was with an impotent man and somebody and yes there is viagra yes there are pills to get it hard but you cannot use those pills if you have high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So she was in a sexless marriage. She told me that they did other things, but they, there was zero penetration, none, zero for the whole 22 years that they were married. So not to put my mama's business out there, but my mom, she, she stuck through it. She was very, when she, I remember her telling me, she was crying Oh, my mom was crying her eyes out when she told me this. I felt so bad for her. I really did. Um, and it's horrible that he hid it from her. So would my mom have been a bad person if she went out and got her rocks off somewhere else when her husband didn't tell her while they were engaged for six months? They, they did get married 
kind of quick. I mean, when they got married, they were both in their early 40s. This wasn't each either of their first marriages. So my mom married him, and that was the last man she was married to when she died. Um, she uh, He did not tell her. She found out on her wedding night. <laughs> I, I can't imagine. I just can't believe it. That's so crazy to me. Because in your early 40s, which is what I, me, I'm 40, 4-0. I'm not in my 40s, but I'm 40. I cannot imagine being in a sexless marriage for the next 22 years. Editing Gina here. So just to clarify, um, this whole little discussion that I'm doing, I'm not saying that it's okay to cheat. I was basically going off of the reaction of the guy in the video that I was watching. He couldn't believe that Aaron would not stay in a sexless marriage and that she said, basically, I love my partner, but I would be cheating. It's a lot of thunder and rain going on right now. Y'all can hear all that, that noise. But so she, he, he just could not believe what she was saying. So that's why I'm talking about cheating a lot and kind of not saying like it's okay to cheat, but that's the reason why I talked about cheating so much in this segment is because women are just, we're taught to aspire to marriage. Men are taught to aspire to making money. Like it's just what society has beaten our heads. And so when a woman cheats, she's looked at as disgusting, scum of the earth. She's a hoe. She's this, she's that. But if a man cheats, a woman is expected to uh, take that back. Um, like if a man can't get hard, a woman needs to ride it out for all those years. If a woman goes through, let's say, menopause or whatever can happen to a woman to where they're not able to engage in sex or the sex has now changed, a man will, you know, if a man cheats, it'll be like, okay, well, woman, you can't, you can't get wet anymore. So what do you expect your man to do? He, of course he's going to cheat. He still loves you, but he's going to cheat. It's always like, it's okay for men to do shit that women can't do. So that's all I was trying to say. So back to the vlog. But I'm just saying this to say, guys, stop looking at women as if a man cheats, women, women are expected to stay with the man. If he cheats, they're expected to stay with a man. If anything goes wrong in the marriage, anything through anything, women are taught to stick it out with their man. A lot of women's value is through the men that she's with, is through not having a lot of sexual partners. She has a successful man who brings in a lot of money, who takes care of the household, who's a man's man. Women's, a lot of women is that. Men's success, on the other hand, is how much money they make. But we're just always taught that we're supposed to deal with the cheating man, deal with the man who dick can't get hard, deal with a man who makes a side baby, deal with the man who beats us up. We're supposed to uh, deal with everything. And I'm telling you guys, I, I, I don't agree with that. If I was in a sexless marriage, yes, I'm going to talk it out. I'm going to see what it is can I, that I can help with. Um, if your dick don't get hard, are you depressed? Is there some type of illness going on that we need to go to the doctor, the urologist, and see what's going on? Uh, do I not turn you on? I'm going to talk about it, and we're going to try to find some resolutions together. But if I can't find any resolution, I'm going to look outside, and I'm going to find some sexual pleasure somewhere else. And I'm the type of person, I'm not... you. I can fuck and not get emotionally attached. There are plenty of women who can fuck and not get emotionally attached. I really hate this narrative that all that women they fall in love with everybody that sticks their dick in them. That is not fucking true. Let's kill this myth because it is not true at all. A woman can have a husband or a boyfriend that they love. It is their soulmate. They love this person to no end. But if they cheat on them, it means absolutely nothing. They still go home and love their man. Like could don't want to be without their man but they just got their rocks off somewhere else. It don't make them a bad person. It don't make them love you any less. Some Sex is sex sometimes. Stop attaching women to just being emotional creatures and we're not, and it's not okay for us to be sexual beings. Like I really fucking hate that. So anyway, I'm about to um, continue. I got like about eight minutes left on here. If I need to come back, if they hit on anything else, I'll come back, but um, yeah, if y'all want to watch this episode, it's Can You Survive a Sexless Marriage? 
options are of trying to listen to this shit. Listen to this in our relationship. And it go both ways. The guy got to deal with your nagging. The guy got to deal with all of the problems that a, that a woman presents in a relationship because everybody got baggage. So it's it's the mental stress of you know, yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all only satisfy. Women, ladies don't kill me, but y'all only satisfy for a certain amount of months. You could be like, babe, we need to, I'm throwing any number out there, babe, we need to make a hundred thousand a year. We need to make a hundred thousand a year. As soon as the man make a hundred thousand a year, three months later, it's, this not enough. We need to make a hundred, the two hundred thousand a year. He go ahead and go ahead and make the two hundred. I got never satisfied, right? Come hold on, like, hold on, hold on. This narrative that women nag and are never satisfied with anything is so not true did this man literally just say that the woman's gonna nag and say we need to make more money and then once you start making more money it's not gonna be enough money what why is this stereotype put out like it's so many stereotypes that are put on women that aren't true and it's so crazy that it's beat into us so much that some women actually think that it's true they actually think yeah maybe i do nag too much when it's not nagging it's communicating about your wants and needs in a relationship communicating is not nagging men hold so much emotion in which i think is so fucked up that men are just look to be these masculine powerful beings that can't have emotions because if they do have emotions they look at a soft weak their pussies this and that so now women who are okay it's okay for us to be emotional beings that when we want to discuss something it's considered nagging and if we bring it up again it's considered that we're not happy enough i just i so i you know i, I just i really oh but i mean that's just societal norms it's women are looked at as have we have to take care of our men we have to be emotionally there. We have to give up sex whenever they want sex. Even if we're tired, bleeding, just uh, gave birth, whatever. We have to always be, the pussy always got to be ready for the man. Uh, we got to take care of the house, cook, clean, take care of the children, do the grocery shopping. When the man, all he has to do is make the money and that's it. And we have to accept whatever comes with him. Let me, know, let me know how you guys feel in this conversation. If you have been in a sexless marriage or a sexless relationship, because that's the actual topic. They're, they're going off. They have like little subtopics too going on, but that's the main thing. Let me know if you guys have experienced that. The only time I've experienced it or have heard of it was with my mom. And, you know, me and my mom were very, very close. So we had conversations. Um, we had conversations about it. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go back to listening to it. It's dinner time. The kids are eating. Ooh, that's hot. The kids are eating chuckles. And y'all know, cause I'm watching my carbs, watching my everything. This is my dinner. So it's ground turkey, a little bit of cheese. Um, and in place of sour cream, I have plain non-fat Greek yogurt. That's a good uh, alternative to sour cream. I have one scoop of salsa. I have about a third of an avocado. No, less than a third. Because I cut the avocado. It's 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 a third of a half. If <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway, then these are catfish nuggets, and this is half of a carb conscious tortilla. Why does water out of a cup taste so much better than water out of a bottle? That is like a question the world will never know. Anyway. I'm ending the vlog here. I just wanted to tell you guys good night. I'm about to um, actually get a little bit of work done before I fully go to sleep. I got to be up early because I got to hit the gym in the morning. So I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting on? What you waiting on? Go get a switch off the tree. Anyways, bye guys.